Okay, so I'm gonna redo part one of this video series um, with the Samsung water wall fix. Uh, the first video was just a, part one of that video was just a real quick clip, kind of giving you a sound bite of what the noise is, but I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with it on this one and hopefully this will come in handy and offer more of an explanation of what's going on here and, and what the, uh, the magnet fix is all about. So, first thing we're gonna do is open this up. <clears throat> now, I've took the trouble of going ahead and reinstalling the original magnet back on here. So, I know that it's bad. And as you're gonna see here shortly, it uh, it's still bad. So, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we need to just reach here and pull up and then pop your water wall bar off. <clears throat> And that gray piece right there is basically your carrier. And the, the procs we're trying to make is back here in the back side. So I'm gonna actually put the phone or inside the washer, start up a cycle and let you guys actually see what's going on when that prox isn't being made. Um, we'll do a, an outside audible as well so you can hear what it sounds like when it messes up from the outside. So we're just going to start a cycle. Let it, you have to overlook the, the dirt all over this washer. With a two-year-old, it's impossible to keep clean. There's the noise. And that's literally the the carrier just bouncing back against the back rail because it doesn't know that it's home. So we'll stop that. And now I'm gonna put you guys inside of here. Had a bit of a technical error, so I'm gonna have to voice over this part. Um, what you're what you're hearing in the background there that's it's pretty loud is the drain pump. It's, it's turning on and the clicking pulsating sound of the, the water uh, bar not being recognized in its, in its home position so what's going to happen here is it's going to send the bar all the way to the front and then it's going to try to track back and pick up the home position that's in obviously the magnet doesn't work so the procs or the sensor is not being made so it's going to keep doing this most of the time, uh, it does it two to three times before it will start the cycle. It's kind of a flaw with this machine. It will start the cycle even though this isn't functioning. And then you open it up and the uh, bottom half of the dishes are still dirty and you're wondering why. So you're going to see it come back. It doesn't lead. Clicking noise. And that's going to send it back to the front. All over again. Trying to find where it's at. Um, right at the end of this, um, all of the background noise should be away and you will hear that pulsation, pulsation sound very clearly and then you'll see the cycle start and the water start to come off the side so I hope this helps you so here is the water wall bar and this guy is most likely the culprit in the situation uh, there could be some more complicated things involved uh, it's kind of a case-by-case -case situation, but I would definitely start here. So, it's pretty easy to remove. Basically, you just take this screw out, and this guy pops out. So, uh, you can't buy this on its own. And it's basically epoxied inside. And, you know, the whole, the whole issue here is... Depending on what type of magnet this is on the inside, magnets don't do well in heat unless they're a special kind of magnet. And this is, if I had to guess, if you actually took this thing apart, it's probably nothing more than just a ceramic ferrite magnet. Um, just a, a lot larger scale. And when, when I say that, I'm, I'm referring to your, your basic, your household type magnet like that you would stick on a refrigerator or something um rare, rare earth magnets or i'm going to say this wrong but neobendium magnets 
are a lot stronger, but they don't hold up to the heat as well. Uh, as we will find out in part three of this video, which is part of the reason why I'm redoing this as well, but I uh, figured we'd go back and start from the beginning and give you guys more of an explanation of, of what it is, what the parts actually look like, original when you get it, and um, basically the fix, the fix just involves taking a magnet, it's pretty strong, and putting it in this general location here and silicone it into place uh, there are a lot better magnet options out there as you will see in part three of this video when I get around to making it but uh, we'll cover that at a later date so that's that's about all I got for you right now I hope this makes more sense and gives you a a clearer picture of what's going on inside this thing. Uh, thanks for watching.